Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean on a Friday, and then you already know if it's a Friday video, I'm going over some kind of music resource tool, tactic, or strategy. Today, I got a strategy for you guys. Now, a lot of people ask me things like, where do I start with my brand? How do I build a following? What do I do? Where should I go in terms of marketing myself? There's one thing, especially at a beginner level, that I think can be very useful to a lot of people. It's this simple. One, find artists that are similar to you. Now, I know this isn't it, by the way, for those of y'all who want to cut it off right there. Yeah, I know that already. But I got to say that because it's going to help the rest of the strategy. When it comes to finding artists that are similar to you, a lot of people are like, yo, I don't know. I don't sound like anybody. I'm so different. Well, I'm going to do a video on why that could be a horrible thing and why it probably is a horrible thing if you truly, truly are extremely different like nobody's like you but nine times out of ten nine point nine 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 times out of ten you aren't as different as you think you are maybe you just don't have the self-awareness so ask people around you who would they compare you to most closely it doesn't mean you're exactly like them but who would they compare you to most closely at the time now once you have some artists that you can do that with it's going to tell you two things when it comes to marketing and what outlets you should be on it's going to help you know that if this artist is in this outlet then that means there's fans there who appreciate that type of music now the biggest problem might come if you're looking at somebody like drake or kendrick lamar there is such a level of celebrity where they're on outlets for just their celebrity alone just because they're there doesn't mean that there's fans so if someone says you are like one of these people who are very big, Future, Drake, Jay-Z, I don't know, Kanye, you need to then, now that you have this outside perspective of what you sound like, dilute that into an artist who's not as big, but you feel like are in that same pocket. Look at those artists that might be at the medium level or I don't know, whatever level below, and then look at the media outlets that they're on, especially if the outlets post a lot of artists that are similar to that artist, then you know that the fan base that's following that outlet probably would like your music as well if you're good at it. Now, if that outlet only covered that type of artist once, then they probably don't have a fan base that really, really speaks to that type of music. You could try to get on that outlet, but it's not the same as a publication or YouTube channel or Instagram page that covers a whole bunch of one type of artist. So those are two huge things to really keep in mind. Where are these artists being placed and what is the fan base who follow those artists? Then the second thing is the hardcore, straight, practical, laborious process of reaching out to these artist fans. If you go to an artist and this person has 50,000 subscribers or 50,000 followers, let's do it followers because we can do that on Instagram. If I have 50,000 followers and I'm super lyrical and you are a hyper lyrical artist, I only have 50,000 artists. Since I only have 50,000, since, since I only have 50,000 fans, if I have legitimate followers, those followers are probably into the niche of the hyper lyrical. So you want to go look at my followers on Instagram and start hitting up the followers. It takes time. There's some other ways that you can kind of expedite it. Not going to do that on this video, but reach out to those followers, man. And when you hit these people up, ask these people to look at your videos or listen to your music or I don't know, just start some kind of conversation. The point is these are the people that you should be looking at to begin that building of your fan base really use other artists to guide you to the proper audience and then engage that audience the people who are following those people the people who are following those outlets a lot of people waste time doing things like follow for follow randomly and even asking certain people for opinions on their music who would not even like their music in the first place know who you're talking to getting in front of the right audience is going to save you a lot of time Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.